Hello everybody, Dan John again. I'm continuing my review of books and like most of the books I talk about, you can't probably find this one. This is a German book and it's called Circuit Training and it's by Ulrich Jonath. And Ulrich Jonath, I don't know who he is, but I do know that uh, the two, that he and Tony Nett, N-E-T-T, -T, wrote several books together about training. Uh, Tony Nett was a, an important voice uh, in German uh, light athletics, uh, track and field. And he was uh, very critical of the American system. Uh, but he also respected the, the what we were doing here in the United States. He found uh, American athletes very unscientific and all the rest. But the reason I bring this book up, and, and honestly, you can probably find tons of resources on circuit training. Uh, there's several different ways to do it. This book covers most of them, where you go... Uh, the way I learned originally is, was two, there was two ways. One was something you'd recognize in traditional bodybuilding before the bodybuilders really, probably even knew it. Uh, it. We would call it supersetting now. I would, if you did a, uh, a military press with a lap pull down or pull up, uh, a curl, tricep extension, leg extension, leg curl. Uh, some exercises don't work perfectly. We used to do uh, squats with hanging uh, leg raises at South City High. Uh, and then the other way is, of course, a way that I found to be a great way to get in shape, an upper body movement followed by a lower body movement, upper, lower, upper, lower. Um, when we were working on the universal machines, we would do the entire, every single exercise and then repeat it again. Uh, so, you know, you were, you were kind of, you were moving quickly in those workouts. That's the fundamentals and that's the basics. Um, what Jonath does so well in this book is he adds in this idea that I don't know uh, was discussed very much when I was coming up, but inside of your strength, conditioning, mobility work, you would also do technical work for your sport. And he has this great little thing here for basketball players where he has a few drills uh, to get you tired, like cone drills and a, a few exercises like sit-ups. Uh, walking on parallel bars, um, a supermanish exercise. But inside the drill, he has people practicing. Uh, when you get underneath the, the net and you shoot this way and then you shoot this way and then you shoot this way. Years ago, I worked with a, a basketball coach in California and he wanted a better way to test his conditioning. And so we came up with a very interesting thing. I, I don't know if they ever followed up on it, but uh, the idea that... Uh, you would have five basketballs at the free throw line and you would shoot free throws. Uh, and then you, you know, whatever you got, you know, that someone would score you, you went three for five, four for five, five for five. Uh, and then you'd go do a, a lift or a medicine ball drill or a, some kind of agility thing. Well, it doesn't really matter. Maybe even a, a bouncing ball of 50 yards or meters or whatever. And then you'd finish the whole thing with the five free throws again. Now, if you went five for five fresh and one for five tired, that kind of indicated something about you. I think circuit training is a forgotten art in not only getting people in good shape, but in also training technical. If you go to danjohn.net or the university, you can download my book, A Contrarian Approach to the Discus Throw. And as a throws coach, uh, if I work with more than one or two athletes, we very quickly get into the idea of mixing traditional weightlifting exercises, overhead squat, farmer walks, for example, power curls would be the other one we do outside, uh, with throwing drills. And when you first think about it, it's, it sounds crazy, but very quickly you pick up on the idea that it keeps the athlete absolutely engaged because there's, so there's so much mental change. But you can start to see how the overhead squat ties in to a basic discus throwing drill like the stretch one, two, three throws into the wall or the X stick drill or any of those. Uh, you can see how the power curl ties into the standing throws and how the hill sprints feel like how you come out of the back of the ring. Uh, I know you can't get the book, but I still highly recommend uh, circuit training to you and the great insight for me from this book is making technical training part of your all your training for your sport.